This hydro dipping question comes from one of our YouTube viewers and they asked, I'm having trouble with my fold cracking during dipping and not covering the tumbler. What am I doing wrong? Y'all got questions? I got answers. Let's do it. Folding and cracking during hydro dipping. What is the cause and what can you do about it? Most of the time with hydro dipping films, when you put them on the water and you are seeing the inks crack or you are having the film kind of like fold up on itself, it is usually a sign that the film is bad or the film has not been stored in good conditions and it is no longer good. Generally, you want to store your hydro dipping film at a relative humidity of about 45 to 55%, somewhere in that range and about 70 degrees all the time. If it gets too dry, it will crack and the film is no longer good. You'll need to throw it away and buy some more film. And even with perfect storage conditions, I generally don't keep hydro dipping films for more than about a year and then I just chunk them and get some new ones so that I don't run into these kind of issues. So when you go to lay that film down on the water and you see it bunch up and it starts to fold up on itself, most of the time it is not you, it is the film. Luckily film is the cheapest part of the hydro dipping hobby, so don't feel bad about throwing it away when it goes bad. Now don't be tempted to try to save the film and rehydrate it, it won't work. And also don't be tempted to tape all four sides of it because more than likely you're gonna run into issues. If you wanna learn more about that, I've got a video I'll link to right up here that explains why you shouldn't tape all four sides of your film. And I also have another video that is more in depth about film storage. If you wanna check it out, I'll also leave a link to it right up here. As far as tumblers go and getting full coverage on them, I see a lot of people make the same mistake over and over and over again when they are rolling tumblers. Giving you a little side view, hopefully this will help. When I see people go into the water, they get the tumbler all nice and level and then they just roll it in place. That's not going to work. You've got to get coverage from here all the way back around to the other side. Well, the only way to do that is to feed into the pattern. If you put this down in there and you just roll it in place, it's going to look good on part of it and then it's going to stretch all the way around if you even get complete coverage. So when you go in at a nice deep angle, level out, and then roll forward into your pattern. Now this will take a little bit of practice. If you roll too much, you're gonna bunch the pattern up and you'll have a nice good pattern on one side and the other side is all gonna be squinched. If you don't roll enough, it's gonna look good on one side and the other side is gonna be extremely stretched. Just take some practice. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. You should definitely check out our, um, our, oh, here we go with the ums. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Question comes from Rochelle Fugate. Rochelle, Rochelle. And now, oh my God, I was so like announcer like, and now, no, I'm not doing it. Sorry. <laughs> Ro I'm, I'm assuming it's Rochelle. <laughs> Always got stuff in my way. Is this thing recording? Yes, it is. Yes. Winning. I actually remembered to hit the record button this time. This hydro dipping question comes from one of our you one of one of one of our oh my god, this is not starting out well. Here we go. Rochelle Fugat Fug Fugate Fugat. So to answer the question, what what was the question? I gotta read it again. Cracking, cracking during dip. Okay, all right. Mm. All right, let's focus. So get focused. Fugate. Fugate. I don't even know why I try. Sorry, whoever you are, I completely screwed your name up. 